What is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have for you a mail time unboxing where I got a few packages in the mail over the course of I would say maybe a few weeks, closer to a month maybe. But um, we have this box right here, we have this package, it's a padded envelope and we also have this smaller priority mailbox. So um, instead of doing like the usual unboxings where I kind of show you um, up close and personal, um, I will be doing separate videos of all of these, so instead I'll just be showing you the unboxing through here. So let's start with the big one, and then we'll go to these two towards the end. So uh, yeah, let's open up this one and see what we got. This one I did buy from eBay, as you can tell from the, the packaging. It says eBay right there. Maybe that's a better look. And we actually have another smaller box. This might maybe give you a hint of what it is based on the size of it. So this product, unlike the other one that I unboxed previously, is packaged very nicely. And it is none other than another Sword and Shield booster box. Um, usually I never really try to buy two booster boxes of the same set. But um, I don't know, I'm a really big fan of this set. I really like the cards, the artwork and all that. So. We got another Sword and Shoot booster box that I'll be opening up for you guys. Next, this is going to be something that I bought off of the Facebook Marketplace. And the reason that it is kind of opened already is because um, I needed to check the contents inside and made sure um, I was happy with it um, because the PayPal needed me to verify that. So um, I didn't look through it all, I just made sure that all the cards were there and then it was everything that I ordered. So um, this will make the unboxing a little bit more easier for this one. Alright, so these are the commons and uncommons for the Gym Heroes and the Gym Challenge sets. Um, it isn't just one card, there's actually quite a few in each little stack right here. But we have all the commons and uncommons for the Gym Heroes, and all the commons and the uncommons for the Gym Challenge. And we also got some non hollow rares that he put in, so um, those would be right here. And what I'm thinking is maybe for these cards right here, I'll actually show you up close and personal of you know each individual packet along with the cards itself. But before we get into that, let's get into our last box, which is right here. So um, I kind of covered it up, but this is a priority mail box. And this one, this is what I'm actually looking forward to the most. So uh, let's crack this open as well. Oh man. And this one is from eBay, as you can see right there. Oh, I actually might use this. It's actually pretty legit. This is what they use for the packaging, which I think is pretty clever. On to what you guys actually care about. These are, man, I really respect how he packaged these because this is very nice. Um, he definitely knows what he's doing. Definitely not his first time sending these out, but we have seven, I believe. Let me count these, make sure it's seven. Yes, we have seven Japanese Neo Genesis packs. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but let me actually take one pack out so we can get a closer look. And what he actually did was he put them in these team bags from Ultra Pro, and he also sandwiched them with um, these Ultra Pro card savers. This is what you usually uh, use to send to PSA to get it graded, but yeah, so he sent in this, very pleased with how he packaged them. And let's just take one booster pack out, so... Man, so much nostalgia. I am a little worried though because if you see the little corners right here, it is a little kind of bent out of shape and maybe the card's kind of pressed along against the card savers, so maybe the corners might be damaged, but hopefully not. Um, personally, what I want to do is just keep these sealed. Um, I do have seven of them and just as a collector myself, I do think the prices of this will go up in terms of the value. I might open one just out of nostalgia's sake, but in terms of just opening all of them, I don't think I will. But let me give you a closer look at the pack. So we got Lugia on the top, and we got the three Johto starters. We have Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. And on the back, we also have two Pokemon. We have a Pichu and a Apom. As I said, I did get seven of these, as you can see right here. And I'll definitely be doing an unboxing of this, just one pack in the later video, but stay tuned for that. And with all the packages being opened up, let me actually show you all the cards that are in the slots right here. 
All right, so let's start off with the Jimmy Hero set first. Um, let's just start into this pack right here. And he did loosely tape it, which I very much appreciate with the top, just so the cards don't like fly around. So I separated everything, you know, based on Jim Heroes and Jim Challenge. And to my slight disappointment, there isn't every uncommon and common card, but that's quite alright. I mean, because these cards are from the Unlimited set, um, these cards are actually pretty cheap, so it should be no problem for me to complete the set. So let me show you the cards real quick. So starting off with the Blaine's Growlithe, just going through the cards, everything that we got. And the condition of these cards, I would say it ranges from near mint to moderately played. And some are damaged with like slight creases, but that's kind of to be expected for cards that are this old. But we have a decent amount of uncommons and uh, commons. And I gotta say, I love the classic Ken Sugimori artwork that the Gym Heroes and the Gym sets are known for. So there's that. And also let me show you the rares that we got. So the first rare is a Brock's Rhyhorn, which surprisingly is a rare. We have uh, Erica's Clefairy, also a rare, non-hollow. Erica's Victory Bell, love the, love the background. Lieutenant Surge Electabuzz, and Sabrina's Venomoth. So that closes out the Gym Hero set. Now let's go through the Gym Challenge. So starting off we have a Blaine's Rapidash, Erica's Clefairy, a Choke, Meowth, Nidorina, Golbat, Weezing, Eevee, Electro, Hypno, Kadabra, Growlithe, Mankey, Ponyta, another Blaine's Rhyhorn. Sorry, was it Brox? Sorry, this is Blaine's, the other one was Brox. Brox Diglett, Erica's Jigglypuff, Paris, Giovanni's Machop, Meowth, Koga's Ekans, Coughing, Koga's Pidgey, uh, Rattata, Poliwag, Staryu, Abra, two Abras, Sabrina's Porygon, and last but not least, a Psyduck for the uncommons and commons. And then we'll go into our rares. We only have three. But the first one is Brock's Dug Trio, Koga's Arbok, and a Sabrina's Golduck. But yeah, so um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This short mail time unboxing and just going through these cards right here. Please stay tuned for more future unboxings like this. And if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends that might also enjoy this content as well. And also follow me on my social is retro underscore giraffe. And I have an Instagram page, so um, please follow me there. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.